and welcome back to another edition of ProBoxingFans.com's The Fight Corner. Alright, I got Jermaine Perry in the studio and we're going to be talking some boxing once again today. Now, there was uh, we took a break last week, but let's get to uh, Danny Garcia and the uh, Herrera fight. That was a big, a uh, little bit of controversy over there. Uh, close decision. You said uh, he wouldn't overlook his opponent and uh, he might have a little bit. Maybe a lot. A lot. Maybe a lot. Uh, it was it was it was wasn't a good showing for Dan yeah. about his last fight, and I'm gonna say the Puerto R being in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. trying to please the fans, give them this great spectacle, probably built and played a big part into him not putting on his best mm -hmm. performance. And now uh, there was open scoring too, which is a little bit different than what it usually is. Um, I yeah. think Texas does this, a couple states do it, and uh, not, not not really a lot. Not a lot. Maybe not a, a lot. few. I, and I, I don't really like it like that because uh, you know then it kind of takes the suspense away from the end, and right. everyone knows, and it's not you know that the same for the fighters. And, and then the fighter that's that's on top that he knows is on top is it, it's, it's taken away from his drive to still put on a good show. Like mm -hmm. okay, after I believe it's the fourth and the eighth. They say right. if I know I'm up, why why take any risks? Right, exactly. And possibly get hit with a punch and put me down. Exactly. And uh, so, and also on the undercut of that fight, uh, we were previewing it last time, uh, Deontay Wilder uh, did what he had to do, man. One round knockout. Some say like, he took a dive because he hit him with a big left hook mm -hmm. and then a straight right, and then he went down on Malik Scott. That is, and uh, it would take us through that fight, you know. It was kind of like a real quick one round. Well, Malik Scott didn't put, perform with usually Philadelphia fighters yeah, right. normally do. Went so, down. He's uh, he, he, tough. He, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe he took a dive. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't. I don't think so. But you know, just a big punch. Didn't want to be in there anymore. Now, shades of Mike Tyson a little bit. We we're talking about the Michael Spinks fight before. How he, uh, Michael Spinks didn't really want to be in there. Maybe he took right. a dive. Not really, but uh, he, he got knocked down pretty quick. Do you see any shades of uh, Mike Tyson in there? Or is it po too possibly. For that? Possibly. The only thing is, with Tyson was a much bigger name. Mm -hmm. Um, right now, exactly. so it's like if you take a dive with Tyson, you know you coming out with a good payday. All right. I don't think Wilder. Uh, produces that yet? Not yet. yet, not yet. But you know, we'll see. You know, he thirty-one knockouts, thirty-one fights. Just yeah. uh, that's Mike Tyson type numbers right there. So yeah. we'll see. Um, also, some big news. Um, so Amir Khan uh, and Broner, you know, they were talking, uh, you know, maybe fighting each other for a while. Yeah. But now we know they're gonna be fighting on the same night, but just not against each other. They bamboozled the world. Oh man, they bamboozled it's, this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it was more so. I don't know. I guess. Khan is not really as big as he was a couple years ago. Yeah. And Broner is Floyd's protege. Right. So it was like, okay, he's coming off the loss. Uh, Khan has something to prove mm -hmm. still, kind of. So let's throw them together. Right. And then if you beat Broner, which Mayweather has said, then I will fight you. So right. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. And so uh, so Amir Khan's fun, just for so everyone knows, if, if you don't already, uh, Amir Khan's fighting uh, Luis Colazzo. Who is a you know he's a name a little bit. He had some big fights back in the day. Uh, Ricky had and he fought uh, Andre Berto and uh, he fought most recently knocked him out. Victor Ortiz, but Ortiz seems second you know, round, second round a big right hook. But you know Ortiz really isn't a uh, benchmark anymore. I no. think he's kind of you know he lost just his luster. Right, exactly. So uh, Colazzo, you know, called for Mayweather after that fight, but he's getting the next next thing. He's fighting uh, on the same card as Mayweather for, for him, which is really good. Which he's, is big, big money. Big, big money. money. Big um, money. That's always a good thing. Uh -huh. And so now Broner is fighting uh, Carlos Molina, who, um, not this, there's, there's a couple of Carlos Molinas out there in the boxing yeah. world, not to be confused with the uh, the 154 titleist. So, uh, you know, take us through that, man. I think Broner is moving back down to 140. I think he's got a better shot there. Uh, what do you think? It's kind of a tune up bout for him. It's, it's, it's definitely a tune up bout. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's more of like a, a confident. Rebuilder, mm -hmm. not builder, rebuilder, because he has right. a lot of confidence. But after taking a loss like that, the way he did, it was pretty, it was pretty bad. Yeah. And then to have to be the type of guy that he is, very flamboyant, flamboyant, mm -hmm. um, really into himself, to lose like that is like you could say you're back, but we all, we saw what happened. Yeah. So you, it's like all right, okay, now we got to build him back up to what he was. Right. And uh, you know what better place to start on a Mayweather undercard. Get. Great place to start. I mean, either make you or break you, so we'll see what happens with that. Now, uh, you know, talking about Mayweather, uh, we're going to talk about Pacquiao next week, but Mayweather Pacquiao kind of as things happening right now. Uh, Adonis Stevenson and uh, Sergey Kovalov, mm -hmm. uh, we all know that uh, Adonis Stevenson this week uh, is moving over to Showtime with Golden Boy and Al Heyman. Um, and a lot of people are saying that, uh, you he know, that, running. 
He's running. That, that, that's the speculation that he doesn't want to fight Sergey Kovalov right. and uh, mess it up. Uh, you know, he's on a nice uh, little streak now. Don't want to mess it up by running into a big buzz. Thought that would be Sergey Kovalov. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you buy into that, or, uh, or what do you it, think? You could go 50-50, because they had a deal mm-hmm. that they will fight uh, after after a tune-up bout, after they both their like tune-up bouts. Mm-hmm. Um, then he decided to go with more money eventually. Mm-hmm. So. Can you call it running it? You can, because they already had a deal. But if I'm a boxer, I'm going to take the bigger check every single time, because mm-hmm. it's so it's such a you know real physical sport. Mm-hmm. Why not? Why well, not take well, the money? Also, I mean, it, taking the bigger check would probably be against Sergey Kovalev. But then again, it, it doesn't set you up for you know they always say the cash cow, and you know you want to milk right. that cash cow. Exactly. You know, if if he if Don Stevenson was to lose to Sergey Kovalev, you know there goes the uh, the prize money for the later down the road. Right. He, and and with the current fight, the tune-up fight, by him switching over, he's getting more money for that fight. Too. Right. So it's like, okay, do I want to just wait until I can take more money from the, from the start? Yeah. Or do I want to wait and then have the big fight? Why not take the most money every single fight? Right. So that's probably his, his mindset on it. Now let's preview real quick uh, Sergey Kovalov because I did bring up his name. I was fighting Cedric Agnew this weekend uh, at Atlantic City. Uh, now Cedric Agnew, not, he's undefeated, but you know he's a little bit more of a technical fighter. But a lot of people see this matchup as a kind of an overmatch for him. Uh, he's probably going to be uh, overpowered uh, with more than likely, more, overpowered, more likely, yes. and uh, probably like nothing he's ever seen before. Now he's been clamoring Cedric Agnew. Climbing for a while to fight one of these big guys, you know, B-Hop or um, uh, Stevenson, but now he's finally got one. Uh, he, how, do you, how do you think he's going to fare in this We'll one? see. We'll see. It, all, uh, preparation. Um, mm-hmm. He wanted to fight. Normally, when fighters want this fight, they normally come in prepared. So that's mm-hmm. what it's going to come down to. I, I believe he will be prepared. Okay. He, he, wanted, he wants He'll be prepared. the big names too much. To, to be unprepared. Uh, let's do predictions, because I'm predicting he's probably going to get knocked out in probably the fifth or the sixth round. I, I'm I mean, Kovalov is uh, he's pretty... Big puncher. Big puncher. Big, uh, big puncher. Um, I'm going to push later. I'm going to push later. Okay. I'm going to say the fight goes the distance. I'm hoping... You think he's going to go the distance? I'm hoping. Wow, I'm, not, I, I'm not saying he's not going to get knocked down. <laughs> but I'm hoping the way that he wanted the fight... Yeah. That he will come in at least prepared enough to go the distance. It's one thing, you know, talking out of the ring and then actually being in the ring. So it's a little bit, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Big difference. So Big difference. I'm, I'm predicting a knockout. You know, he's going to continue the streak. He has 21 knockouts in 23 fights. So uh, don't be surprised if he does get knocked out, uh, contrary to what Jermaine is saying here. Now, um, just real quick, uh, we'll just talk about Bradley uh, Pacquiao. They had a little face-off confronting some words. And we're going to preview and predict that fight next week because uh, we got some differences in opinions on that. Um, but you know they've been exchanging words. Uh, yeah. what, you think that fight's gonna be a good one? Rightfully, 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 sh- it should be because mm-hmm. you have the controversial, very, very, very controversial win for mm-hmm. Bradley. Then you got Pacquiao with the controversial loss, mm-hmm. but then a legitimate loss. Mm-hmm. So yeah, bad blood, bad. Not maybe not like really dislike each other, but as far as ring in the ring, mm-hmm. very bad, much bad blood, okay. and I can't wait. Yeah. Really excited about All right, that. and uh, so that's going to pretty much do it here. We're going to preview the rest of that next week. You're not going to want to miss our predictions. They're going to be good. Uh, we got some difference in opinions, like I mentioned before. And we're also going to talk a little bit about um, Keith Thurman. He's just signed a fight. And we're also going to talk about Juan Manuel Marquez fighting Mike Alvarado, maybe potentially getting the winner of that um, Bradley and Pacquiao fight. So we'll see some bad blood over there on uh, both those sides. So uh, that's going to do it for this week's edition of ProBoxingFans.com, The Fight Corner. Uh, We'll catch you all next week.